The battles of Kuu Terra Selka on the 14th and 15th of June 1944 took place during partly clouded nighttime. The objective of the battle was to recapture part of the Valmesu Taipale, so called VT line, obtained by the enemy. The Finnish tank equipment consisted mainly of Sturmgeschutz assault guns and was augmented with Soviet armor consisting of T-34, IS-2, and KV-1 tanks with ISU-152 assault guns. The Finnish armor losses were five Sturmgeschutz assault guns and two T-20 prime movers. The Soviet losses were 10 T-34 tanks, three ISU-152 assault guns, three KV-1 tanks, and one IS-2 tank. The 4th Army Corps defending the Western Isthmus planned in the first place the armored division's counterattack to Ku Tereselka, but ended up with a remarkably more concise counterattack, aiming at the recapture of the VT line. The counterattack was conducted by the 1st Jaeger Brigade. Colonel Albert Puroma was the commander. Jaeger Battalion 3, attached to the brigade, was supported by 3rd Assault Guns Platoon 1, with three assault guns. Jaeger Battalion 4 was also included in the attack and was supported by the 1st Assault Gun Battalion with seven assault guns. The breakthrough in Kutaraselka during the summer of 1944 was a direct continuation of the breakthrough at Valkasari. It was the fourth Russian strategic offensive in order to capture Finland. They faced an unaccomplished VT line, Vamelsu Daipale. The collapse of Ku Tereselka was crucial for the entire breakdown of the VT position. The Finnish attack against the VT position started in the early morning of the 14th of June, after a heavy artillery drum fire preparation and while the Air Force bombarded both the emplacements and the rear area connections. The emplacements in Ku Tereselka were still in their initial stages of development and sparsely occupied. An attack of mass infantry supported by tanks thrust the defenders out of their positions and into the abandoned, incomplete emplacements in a hillside of the village where the attack was continued by counter-strikes. The breakthrough of enemy tanks into the positions in Ku Tereselka went well because obstacles were not in place for blocking the shooting area of infantry and because defenders' anti-tank weaponry was weak and inadequate. It was, therefore, the occurrence of a malignant penetration that tended to develop into a breakthrough. The commander of the 4th Army Corps attached the element of the armored division located in Pampala, Jaeger Brigade's three battalions reinforced with an artillery battalion and an assault gun company to the 3rd Division for a counterattack. If armored division had been applied more coherently, it could undoubtedly have been competent to contribute more widely further west. Lieutenant General Lahtikainen divided the only effective combined arms formation, the so-called Fist of the Marshal, or Armored Division, and used that drop by drop, and not as one effective striking force all arms formation, as it definitely should have been used. The Armored Division had been divided into two parts. One of those was deployed in the Pampala region, commanded by Colonel Puroma, consisting of three Jaeger battalions, one assault gun company, and one heavy artillery battalion. Another one, deployed in Ahiyarvi, commanded by Colonel Bjorkman, consisted of one Jaeger battalion, light and heavy tanks, and one supporting artillery battalion. The armored division is an all-arms formation, which must strike at full blast, and it cannot be tied to defense, but it has to pull back right after the strike for reserve, to get ready for the next strike. The possibilities to strike the enemy back and to block up the fracture would have been substantially greater if the armored division had been used as an integral formation with all its artillery, tanks, assault guns, engineers, and anti-tank weaponry put into action in due time. This would have been very possible in the moment the operational order was given, although the armored division was deployed in two different locations.